Grandma and Grandpa. What do you want to say to him? How do you want the Good. Good job. All right. Ready? Go. You know, when you've had a dream of sailing across oceans for so many years, it's truly, truly amazing when it finally happens.
salad and garbanzos and corn and the lovely romaine, still plenty crunchy and beautiful. And thanks to my able sous chef here, we have uh, the salad ready. And in there we have chili with beef, um, kidney beans, um, pinto beans, lots of green onions, fresh white onions sauteed first with some uh, sweet red peppers and we're shortly going to toss it all together when everyone's ready to eat. Next we crunch tortilla cheese. What do you have to say today, Skipper? Well, good morning. It's <laughs> uh, noon and uh, we're motoring, which we hope to uh, catch some wind by doing. And uh, we're going about five knots, which we've been doing. We're doing a lot more motoring than we'd hope to do, but uh, we're having a good time. Seas are gentle uh, for the most part. And our, our lay is holding up on the stern. And uh, these are the smaller ones, huh? Yeah. Yeah, these are the smooth skin, they're not beat up modeled like the uh They might be spinner dolphins. Zero Zulu, uh, we were at four zero degrees, five five minutes north, one four two degrees, uh, zero two minutes west, uh, course uh, zero nine eight true, uh, wind, uh, I'm sorry, speed, speed, five decimal four, uh, wind, uh, east northeast. Uh, one one knots 
uh, seas, uh, east, northeast, uh, two foot swell, uh, clouds, uh, five zero percent. Uh, the bar was uh, one zero two nine or steady, and we have no outgoing traffic. Okay, Mark. Uh
Yes, and Don is going forward. He the man. He's doing deck work in the open ocean, wild seas, radical conditions. Ah. Are 
Hey Rich, uh, would you would you just kind of describe what's happening outside now and uh, what the conditions are like? Well, right now we're just pre-gale conditions. Actually, we've got gusting gale force winds. And we leave the main, running with the triple reef, running with the staysail. Uh, the monitor is doing nicely. The gusts are taking us up, which is allowing the jib to lop, and that's allowing the monitor to steer us back on course. We seem to be fine. There's a gust of uh, 29 2 while I'm talking, and I've seen uh, 20, I've seen actually 32 7. And tonight, from around 1 in the morning, we should be getting gusts to uh, 37. Okay, here we are on the Puana. Uh, we're coming into some gale type conditions right here, uh, winds above 30 knots. And Rich just kind of described to you what was happening, but I, I wanted to describe the, the emotion of the moment. You know, this is exciting. We have a, a very sail-worthy boat. We have a trustworthy boat. Uh, this boat was built for these conditions. And so uh, here we are out in the excitement of this. Uh, when you first walk out from down below and you look at these seas, you get very afraid. But uh, then you sit out here for a while and you start enjoying them, appreciating the beauty of them. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, Skipper, uh, what do you think about the upcoming uh, heavy weather situation here? Well, I think it's actually happening. If you turn the camera around, you can get a sense of it. The, uh, we 
you get channel conditions in Hawaii that are akin to this, but this is sustained for, looks like for the next couple days, so uh, that's a bit different. What you worry about is stuff breaking on the boat, and uh, the boat can withstand it uh, for a period of time, and uh, we do the best we can. And uh, there just aren't a lot of alternatives. In fact, you can hear things banging right now. I was just going to say, we've already had some breakage. Would you want to describe that? Not really. <laughs> Let me go home. 
During this gale, I, I don't think these pictures really can describe the enormity of the seas. Uh, when you see a 20-foot uh, swell coming towards you, some of them breaking right on the boat. When you hear the wind howling, uh, when you feel the, the boat driving through this gale, the feeling is just amazing. I think all of us were uh, had our own thoughts, but we were wondering, would, would the boat hold up? Would something break? And the Puana just really held up and did a great job. It was a beautiful sail through this, although it was a little bit nerve-wracking. Charge power share. Focal flats are on. Well, it says it's at 12.7, so it's doing something. As this video comes to an end, uh, I'd like to say that Rich, you become like a brother. I, I really have grown to love you and I hope we meet on distant shores. Dot and Mark and the Puana, thank you so much for letting me cross an ocean with you.
I'll always remember it. Aloha.